Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we're going to look at the automatic process of what is Storage Sense in the storage area of Windows 10. Storage Sense is a good idea. It's a way to free up space, disk space, automatically without you doing anything. But you got to set it up and you got to be careful how you set it up. So when you are on Windows 10, you can uh, right click on the Start menu button, go into Settings and go into system on the left side you'll see storage and the first thing at the top will be storage and it's going to say storage sense can automatically free up space if it's off you can turn it on but you need to configure storage sense to run it and you can run it now if you want also at the same time so if it's not on you can turn it on and then you can just set it up the way you want first of all when do you want storage sense to work every day every week every month or only during low disk space this is a choice that you have and it depends of course on how you use your pc and how often you want the cleanup to happen then you will have temporary files delete temporary files that my apps aren't using usually temporary files are the type of files that it doesn't really matter if they get removed or not so you can pretty much stay safe and be safe in removing those. So you can delete the files and recycle bin if they have been there for over 30 days. Or, you know, you can say just every day if you want one day or never or depending on what you want. The reason why you would leave a certain delay for the recycle bin is mostly because it gives you protection if you have deleted a file. It goes to the recycle bin. It's your last chance to recover it. So by keeping it there for a few days, well, it actually gives the time for your computer for you to, you know, realize if yes or no, that file you deleted, if it's important or not. And you can go and recover it from the recycle bin. So um, 30 days for me is fine. You can make it shorter or longer depending on the disk space you have. Then you have delete files in my downloads folder. Uh, if you go on the internet with any browser, most of the files that you download are downloaded to the download folder. Now, if you're like me, what I have in my download folder, I don't necessarily want it to be removed. There are things that I want to delete, but there are things I don't want. So often because I don't really move them into other folders, um, I will say never. If you have the habit of taking what's important, and changing it to another folder and you know that what's in your download folder is just junk then you can go ahead and choose a number of days once again as to when this is going to uh, be uh, deleted locally available cloud content uh, this is what you have from onedrive onedrive gives you thumbnails of things that are available online but the files themselves are not there un unless you click to get a copy of it now, what this can do is, if you want, you can delete the copies that you downloaded if they have not been opened for more than a certain amount of time. So this means that if you've clicked on files that you never use almost, well, after a certain amount of time, the thumbnail will still, there, st still be there, but the file itself will be deleted. It won't be from the cloud. It's still going to be in your OneDrive folder. And if you want, you can choose the Clean Now option which will immediately do the job. So if you've never done it and now you want to remove some space after choosing the correct values here, you can do the cleanup right now or you can just let it do its cleanup whenever it will actually arrive to these uh, different moments. So storage sense is good. It will free up some space and that might be enough in many cases to keep your hard drive from filling up with all sorts of things. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.